Citizen TV's One Love, another day, another show. My name is Aitel Talia, your night nurse. And on the show today, we have none other than the Kenyan Fire Mama. We miss her, we love her. Jambi, Mambo VP, how are you doing? I'm good. Um, you know, taking it a day at a time and taking the healing process, you know, with a lot of um, energy and with a lot of focus. Um, and just making sure that I'm doing what is necessary for my healing. Now, a lot of people have asked this question. Why did you opt to go to the U.S. for treatment? Well, um, I opted to come to the U.S. because there are no gynecologists in our country who can perform the special procedure, which is called excision. Um, and um, it's all over Africa, really. There are no gynecologists who can perform uh, excision surgery on endometriosis patients in Africa and in India as well. Um, so I found um, specialists who deal with excision in the U.S. and that's why I had to come here. Do you think there are people suffering from endometriosis and they don't know about it? Yeah, there are many of us. You know, there are millions of women who have consistently gone misdiagnosed because of a lack of understanding and lack of awareness of um, this disease. Um, there are very many, you know, there are very many women who, um, you know, every time they go to hospital, they're either told they have something else or they're given, you know, birth control or maybe they're advised to give birth and the pain will go away. Um, so those are some of the reasons um, why some um, some of the women may not know that they're suffering from uh, endometriosis and um, it's also a very mutative disease you know uh, and it also takes between seven to ten years to diagnose so many of the women may actually not understand um, what they're going through um, and some of them may actually not know that they do have endometriosis and also um, Endometriosis can also be diagnosed through um, mini invasive surgery called a laparoscopy. And it's also very expensive. Not very many women can afford to do a laparoscopy, which almost costs 200,000 shillings um, at our private hospitals back home. So it's that expensive. About to show some of the signs to watch out for. Uh, signs and symptoms of... Uh, endometriosis, painful bowel movements, extremely horrible menstrual cramps, there's nausea, um, you know, there are heavy clots, heavy bleeding, you know, all these crazy things that, you know, affect women during their menses. And sometimes the women who have, um, who continue to have their menses all through the month, the women who did who bleed from the first day of the, of the month to um, the last day of the month. Painful sex is also another symptom that is associated with endometriosis. Um, endometriosis also lodges itself in other organs of the body. In my case, it lodged itself in my right lung and my diaphragm, so that was completely messed up. Um, and uh, every month when I was on my period, uh, the cells in in my lungs would make my lungs collapse. So what happens basically is that the endometriosis cells on my lungs would bleed into my lungs as if they were around my uterus. So uh, they would bleed into my lungs and then they would make my lungs collapse. So, um, and I would need a surgery for that. And so I went through 12 surgeries back home uh, before I came for specialized treatment in the U.S. Um, and that was, you know, that that was not really to solve the problem, but it was just really to manage it. And I ended up with a lot of scarring that also messed me up as well. On a lighter note, na kuchekipale hivyo pia kwa IG, mambo on the streets, nini nini, accent bado? Nah, I think I just speak as I used to speak. Okay, and what do you miss about home, about being back in Kenya? Of course, I miss, I, I just miss home. I miss my people, I miss my hood. Yeah, I miss, yeah, I miss the hood. 
e, na miss watu wangu sana 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 wanajijua na miss watu wangu wa mtaani na miss my fans mazi wanajijua what end you know home is home is the west home is best so and much love and respect to everybody who's been supporting me through this journey it's not an easy journey um but we keep fighting you know we have to keep fighting and we have to stay strong yeah I know there are people who are suffering silently. Kuna mse yani ako tu mali and watch maybe the interview right now. Anaizingia pale kwa Instagram or Facebook to talk to you about endometriosis. Is that okay for people to do that? Well, I mean, I can offer um some advice, but I wouldn't be able to offer a diagnosis because I am not a doctor, so I'm not in a position to give um Um, a full medical diagnosis because I am not a doctor and then um our bodies are quite different you know um and so the wiring of our bodies makes um our experiences different so in my case my endometriosis um experience would be very different from somebody else's remember that endometriosis can lodge itself in any part of the body um in my case it lodged itself in the lungs i also had endometriosis in my uterus and uh, my abdomen and it had also eaten up my appendix i had stage 4 extreme severe critical endometriosis so i mean i can I, i i am able to share information i am able to share a lot of um research but i'm not in a position to give a full diagnosis and i'm i'm easily available to give information And when you come back to Kenya, do you plan on getting back into the reggae scene? Um I think God knows my destiny. Yeah, that's what I would say. I know you're still fundraising. Um I've seen it on Facebook, I've seen it on Twitter and, and many people may not understand why you are still fundraising. Could you please explain to people? Well, part of the reason why or basically why I'm fundraising is that I don't have medical insurance. Um and I've been considered a risk because Uh, many insurance companies wouldn't cover me because I was considered um, as having a pre-existing condition um and many insurance companies said they don't know what endometriosis is so yeah um and uh, american healthcare is very expensive way expensive than uh, healthcare at home and um that's why I've been fundraising um and you know just basically asking for help because I honestly need it and um it's 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 extremely expensive it's even more expensive than we thought um and when we got here I you know I I got more complications while I was in hospital and I had to undergo three more surgeries and there's a picture that went around of me in tubes um and uh I had gone through four more surgeries yeah uh so in total I've had uh, 16 surgeries um so I contracted complications and uh I had to stay in hospital a bit longer and you know that cost more and the cost of therapy is also very very expensive and what's the pay bill number the pay bill number is 490681 account name is Jambi Koikai Last words to your fans who are watching right now. What do you want to tell them? Well, I really thank God for all of you. I really appreciate all of you and I just love all of you and I just appreciate you from the bottom of my heart and I pray that God may bless each of you for always standing with me. Thank you so much Jambi Fire Mama for being on the show right here on Citizen TV. We wish you a quick recovery. We can't wait for you to get back home. Salmia Made na walami wote walako hapo hivyo. Thank you so much Jambi.